In this video, I'm going to give you six reasons why you should be using prototyping software to design your websites. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video for some bonus content where I'll give you my top recommendations for the best free software to use. But first of all, my name is Paul C from WP Tuts, and this channel is all about helping you build websites faster to help you make more money. Now, if you're like me, you've probably been designing your websites using tools like Elementor or Gutenberg, or maybe even things like Photoshop or Illustrator. And while that's okay, it's not the most effective way of working. In this video, I'll show you why using prototyping software like Figma or Penpot can not only make your workflow faster, but can also help to make you more profitable. And let's be honest, who doesn't like more money in the bank? When we conceptualize something in our heads, it can often seem like a great idea. However, when we try to put it into a more concrete medium, such as on a piece of paper or a computer screen, it often turns out to be a pretty terrible idea. So for example, let's say you're designing a web application card. You may start by adding everything you need into that design, which leads to an overwhelming end result for the end user. You may be able to simplify that design or improve the user experience by changing the layout of some of that information replacing text buttons with simple, clean icons to convey the same end result, those kinds of things. Now, a prototype can help us identify problems with our design concepts so we can fix them before moving on to any form of production. Prototyping allows you to refine the website to improve the site's overall quality and usability before launch. So during the prototyping stage, you can easily test the site's usability, which includes checking whether the site is easy to navigate and those kinds of things. So creating prototypes allows you to quickly improve design concepts. You can revise and refine the ideas in minutes. So using my initial example, I quickly identified some design issues that I wanted to address. I can now visually validate my proposed solution to see if they solve my findings or if more work is still needed to find the best solution for the problem. Developing a user interface or UI is basically about finding and creating optimal methods for users to achieve a given task. To do this, you'll spend time coming up with various different ideas and solutions. So the easiest way to find the best solution is to compare several ideas through prototyping them. So here's an example of how I streamlined my initial idea for managing the content in my web app adding in the relevant components and revising them until I find the optimal design and configuration for the user. If you have to describe how an interface works, it can be difficult to convey the many nuances that may need to integrate into our solutions. This can end up with miscommunication or poor feedback from our user group. So by using a prototype, people can see your ideas and solutions, providing you with a much better probability of getting feedback that is both useful and on point with your proposed ideas. If you're working with developers or outsourcing, they can help to identify issues they foresee from their point of view and possibly offer an alternative solution to those issues. Now, one of the most obvious reasons to prototype your designs is simple. There's very little reason not to do it. You can integrate it into most design processes with very little interruption. So no matter how you currently design your ideas, whether it's on a notebook or using a tool like Photoshop or Elementor, using one of the apps I'll cover in the bonus section should make the process even easier and much more importantly, quicker. Now, if you prefer to use a web app, I've got suggestions for you to cover that. If you prefer to be able to work offline, I've also got you covered there too. Okay, now I've given you my six reasons to prototype your next design. Let me introduce you to my recommendations in the next bonus section. Now as a bonus, here are my three top recommendations for free prototyping tools you can start using right away. Each of these are tools I use myself and have found them to be both relatively easy to learn and also can produce amazing results. So probably the most obvious one is going to be Figma. Now, even though this was bought out by Adobe very recently, you can still have access to that completely free plan. So you can see this will give you three Figma and three Figma Jam files with unlimited personal files, collaborators, and so on. 
should be more than enough to kind of get your chops up, to get you used to working with it. Once you've kind of got to that point, if you need more, well, you're probably making money out of this and therefore you can probably pay for it. But as you can see, it starts at about $12 per month per editor. So it's not a massive amount of money. And if you are making money from this, well, you're gonna kind of make even more money by being quicker. Now, one of the other things that's worth bearing in mind with a tool like Figma and the fact that it is pretty much one of the de facto tools out there, you get a huge amount of access to free files and tools and plugins and add-ons, all manner of different things that can make Figma not only a great tool to work with, but also the whole process of doing things like wireframing, prototyping, all those kinds of things so much quicker and easier by simply grabbing and pulling in any of those free resources. So check out figma.com, links in the description below. This is probably the one I would recommend at this point in time because it is so widely adopted. However, there's one thing to bear in mind. It is a closed architecture. Now, what exactly does that even mean? Well, basically any file you create inside Figma can only be opened with Figma. You can't export this to another one of the tools that we're gonna take a look at in this bonus section. Bear that in mind. So as long as you don't mind that and the prototypes are gonna be all contained inside Figma, you are good to go. It is a very, very powerful tool. Second on my list is Lunacy from Icons 8. Now, I really like Lunacy. It is definitely a solid tool. One of the key things that I like about it though is you can use this 100% offline. It's an application you can install on Windows, Mac, or Linux, so nobody's gonna be alienated based upon their operating system. Once you do go ahead and install it, you then have a very powerful application you can start working with. It's very similar in a lot of ways to a tool like Figma, and you'll find that across the board. Whichever of these you decide to test out, even if you test all of them out, you're gonna find there's a lot of things that are very similar between the different platforms. But one of the things I really like about Lunacy is the fact that this comes from Icons 8, which have an abundance of illustrations, icons, images, photos, and all manner of different things. And that's integrated directly into the Lunacy platform. So you can simply come into icons or photos or illustrations, and you can go ahead and you can search and filter and you can add those into your prototypes directly inside here. You've also got UI kits, so if you want to grab anything to do with iOS or you want to work with iPad or Mac OS or Windows or anything like that, all those elements are integrated into the platform itself. And you can simply open up any of these and then drag and drop them into your design. You can use the lower resolution versions of these, but if you want to use these in your productions in your commercial projects, you can then go to the paid option, which allows you to basically purchase the use of the icons, the illustrations, and those kinds of things. So consider this something like Envato Elements, but integrated directly into Lunacy or being supplied by Icons 8. So check out Lunacy. I think it's a really solid application. You can use anywhere on any kind of device. Third on my list is Penpot. Now Penpot kind of flew under the radar for me until it popped up as an alternative to Figma when Adobe bought it recently. Now one of the reasons why this is kind of so interesting is not only because it's a solid tool that's interesting to work with inside any kind of browser, but also they've literally just raised $8 million in funding, which means they now have more resources, more financial resources to put into Penpot to push this forward to make it something that could realistically compete with tools like Figma. So again, it's one of those tools that when you kind of log in, you're going to find a very familiar interface to working with something like Figma or Lunacy. They all have very similar layouts. You can see we've got our different artboards with different devices. We've got typography. We can have all manner of different components. We can organize things. And assets in this example are broken down into various different sections. You can see we've got components, graphics, colors, and typographies. So when you're working with a project, you can organize those four key component aspects of your designs into those relevant asset folders to organize things very easily. Another thing that I really like about this and pretty much all the tools we've looked at today is collaboration is built in from the ground up. When you're working with Penpot, I believe you can have up to a thousand collaborators on a project. All of this is no cost whatsoever. It's totally open source. And if you want to start working with any of the comments, you can simply enable the comment feature and you can come over and you can start adding comments into the actual artwork itself. So we can click to add a new comment. 
we can type in our comment and we can hit post and we've now got a comment on there and anybody that's actually set up to work on this project with me will all be listed at the top and everybody will be able to interact with each other monitor comments and all those kinds of things so check out penpot as my third recommendation if you're looking for a solid tool to be able to prototype your designs now, if you want to learn more about working with UI and UX designs, check out this playlist of videos. This will get you up to speed, teaching you lots of fundamental skills and tips to make you more effective and work faster. Now, if you found this content valuable, why not consider hitting that thumbs up button? It really does help me out. But if you didn't, well, hit the thumbs down button twice, as that seems to work pretty well too. All applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tetson. Until next time, take care.